Hello there, watchy people. How is it going? Welcome back to the Rags to Riches series on Farming Simulator 22. As you can see, we are now into May. Um, and for some reason, we're getting April showers. Um, so we're going to have to rename them to May showers. This is terrible. Let's have a look at the weather forecast. So, <clears throat> it reckons it's going to be done by 9. So that's pretty good. Let's um, let's speed up the time and see uh, if that is true. There we go. I've, I've added a few. I think I said last time I added the mod. How's that? That um, still going at nine. I've added the mod that gives us. Um, it gives us faster time. Um, ah, there we go. Stop him. Beautiful. Right. Yeah, it gives us faster um, increments of, of time passing. So we can uh, skip the nights really nice and quickly. Seeing as we can no longer sleep over there. Um, I do apologise about my voice again. Still fighting the old cough. I've got a throat lozenge in. Hopefully that's going to help. Um... But yes, so we've got some grass to cut. Why are you getting your chainsaw out? I totally didn't touch the scroll wheel. Um, and we've got a new mower to test out. So, basically we are going to figure out, we used a big fence today. But we are going to figure out whether this tractor, or this tractor, this mower even, can swath. Um... If it can, we can throw the baler on the back and do the whole thing in one go. If it can't, we can still throw the... Um... Blimey, that's... Yeah, that's really heavy. Uh, we can still throw the... What do you call it? Um... The rower, wind rower on the back. And use that. <coughs> so... I think it's kind of a good way to go because the width is excellent we're only about one meter off of the uh, the other combinations there we go that, that holds it better so let's have a look at the F1 menu um, turn on mower stop engine probably better to do this one right Lower mower, fold mower. It doesn't look like it has. I'm not seeing any options there for um, for swathing. So I think uh, William in the comments was correct about that. So we will grab the rower instead, and then we will turn on that mower, lower it down. And then, um, let's get rid of that F1 menu now. We will unfold this and lower that down as well. Now, in theory, we should be able to uh, create rows as we go. <clears throat> we might have to do one, one extra pass or something to pick up the straggly bits. But I think overall, this combination should be pretty decent. And the, um, the rower is about the right width as well. Oh, hang on. Yeah, I can't quite get far enough for that. Okay, well, we'll continue doing the outside anyway. <coughs> Yeah, it's not a perfect solution, but it looks like it'll do the bulk of the work for us. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about that, to be honest. It works for the straight lines, but the corners um, are getting missed, which I sort of expected, to be fair. Um, but... <clears throat> we can now um, 
lift that up so we're not pulling that away. We can now straighten up and lower it down again <coughs> and get a straight line. So it is only that initial bit that should be a problem. We might miss little scraps here and there, but for the most part, that seems to be a good... Oh, okay, that's so low it hits that bit. All right, let's uh, raise that up. And we'll come around this side. And then drop it down again. There we go. <clears throat> so yeah, this, this works fine in a straight line. That's what I'm seeing. And to be fair, we haven't actually missed that much. Um, by going, going round in circles. <clears throat> so we'll see what we can do with it anyway. This is, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with this, you know. It should mean that the... Um, we're very quickly on to the bailing stage. And you know what? I'm also fine just rowing as well. Like I was didn't want to pull it pull all the grass out of the uh, outer run, but it doesn't really make any difference, does it? There we go, I can stop there. And then start again here. Yeah, I think this is a good time saver, actually. Maybe I should do um, the up and downs first and then do a final circuit. Um, I think I lifted that up too soon, actually. Yeah, I did lift that up too soon. <clears throat> see what happens here. Yeah, I can always do like um, another drive around the edge to clean up all of that stuff. Bring that into there like that. And we'll go down the end again. I think this is a good workable solution. Um, I will check the um, the sheep, but I don't think we need any more hay for the foreseeable. So there's no reason to do hay. I think we'll just do silage again and get the money in for it. <clears throat> I think that would be in our best interests. I don't know, what do you think? It works. It might not be the best thing, but it does work. There we go. Get all of this. Not being very uh, efficient with this at all. There we go. Let's get this little bit here. Lovely. <coughs> and we've missed a corner over there as well. But uh, not too worried about that. Right. Here we go again. Get that down again. <clears throat> I wonder if we can clean up this little bit now that we're here. I think we did. Fantastic. <clears throat> I think that'll do, you know. That's annoying. Oh, I'm going to be 
bit too far forward there. But yeah, we do have one more little bit to do here. So we will drop that down again there. And I don't think we'll bother collecting up that corner. Um, so yeah, let's go do the other field. <coughs> and... Um, and then I'll get to work with the baler. So, yes, I need to fold that up, don't I? And oh, I'll fold that one up as well. Nice. So there you go, that's the uh, mowing portion done. Uh, let's go drop the weight here. And then we'll grab the um, the baler and do the baling portion. So um, I think that's a really good, uh, good thing. I think probably even the corner issue would be solved if I got a very slightly wider uh, rower. <clears throat> so I think if I can find an upgrade for the, for the rower, then... Um, I need to unfold it first. There we go. If you can find an upgrade for the rower that's just a little bit wider, um, then that will work nicely even on the corners. So, yeah, that will be excellent. Uh, anyway, we're going to now do the baling. So, take your guess in the comments as to how many bales, as usual. I think we've done one cut of this layout before. So, in theory, you should already know the number because I think we've done the, the maximum. Um, spraying and everything as well but anyway let's uh, continue the hyperlapse uh, with the bailing go that's all of the bailing done so uh, I believe we turn it off that button to empty there we go and then fold it up <coughs> and that throws it out the end fantastic I noticed all of our other crops are looking good um, let's run over and have a quick look at them I didn't take the chainsaw out flipping it right um, yeah this is growing nicely our canola Needs lime and needs rolling. We might have to start thinking about lime, you know. Uh, again, that needs rolling, but you know, <clears throat> I'm not sure if we're gonna do um, if we're gonna do any rolling or not. Uh, is that the same? Is that that's uh, lime? Come on, Hop. there we go. So this is canola. Did we do two fields of canola? We did. And then uh, yeah, one field of wheat. Okay, cool. So this is the chicken field. <coughs> Man. <laughs> I forgot that I ran like Superman. So yeah, anyway, we need to collect up all those bales. 
And now we need to get this grass fertilised as well. So... Oh. Uh, you know what, let's... Are you lowered? There we go. Let's just grab these little bits here. We may as well. We may as well do it. Now, um... As I'm recording this today, um, the premium edition of um, Farming Simulator has been released. Um, now, I haven't bought it yet, but I am. I will probably get it at some point. Um, but I don't want to do anything with this farm. I'm really happy with this map and the way this is all going, so I don't want to change this. As long as you guys are still up for it and still watching, which you seem to be, um, then I am I am going to continue with this because I'm having a whale of a time. Um, what's next to do? Oh yeah, I need the trailer, don't I? Um, <clears throat> where is the trailer? Wait, where have I left my... Oh, it's right there. <laughs> Blimey, I couldn't see it. Uh, I noticed that we do have some... Um, some stuff up the other end here is that lots of eggs have appeared and lots of um, <clears throat> vegetables so we can go and collect them uh, yeah so I'm happy with how this is going so I don't want anything to change here what I might consider doing is to um, look at I'm going to use the auto load for this stuff because I think I think that's where I want to do it. I've done so much messing around with the forks and stuff that I think I deserve to have a l Oh! Oh, blast. Uh, right, okay. That's why we don't use autoload there. Um, okay. Well, I'll tell you what we can do. Um, let's go into here and get our super strength on. Um, yeah, what I, what I might consider doing, if you guys are up for it, is to um, is to <clears throat> shift my streaming farm onto the new the new premium edition map. Oh, that was so annoying. Yeah, should not have done that. Um, so yeah, we could do the same like we did with this series at the, at the beginning. Oh man, this this was all nicely stacked. There we go. Will you go in nicely? There you go. Um, lovely. Okay. And then this one stays stays where it is, which is quite good. Yeah, so um, with the beginning of this series, we started on a different map. Quickly realised that it wasn't going to be the, the place for us. And so we sold everything we owned, um, brought across all our machinery, sold all our land, brought across all our machinery, and continued from here. Um, there was a traffic queue up here. It seems to have cleared itself out. That's nice. Um, I don't even know what's up that road. I don't think anything is up that road. I'll have to go and uh, explore it at some point. I haven't explored a lot of this map, to be fair. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, so we could do that. We could sell everything, all the land we own in Impatience Farm and move it into the new map. There's lots of small fields in it, so it, it might be an ideal thing for that. I'm not 100% sure. Um, I do like the, the St. Cal's map that we're using, though. I'm, I'm enjoying that as well. So I've got no real pressing desire to move on from it. It's just whether or not you guys think... I'm going to go to the other place, the further up place. Whether or not you guys want to see content on a different map. I mean, I don't think I want to start a third farm. <coughs> but, um, yeah, let me know what, what your thoughts are on that. And I'll I'll uh, add your thoughts to my considerations about what to do with that in future. It might be that, um, you know, we decide at some point that this is done with. we finished here. Or, or even on the Impatience Farm one. And we, we just start afresh. Uh, on that map. I think that might be a good thing to do. Have a good do-over on that one. But it's a, it's a very nice map. It's a Eastern European one, I think. There we go. 20,000 for all of that. Which means we could start looking at that... Um, 
that upgrade to the wind rower I was talking about. But uh, first of all, we have to deal with all these bales. So um, let's park this somewhere in the middle of the field. Somewhere about here looks good. And uh, we will jump out and we'll go and fetch the other tractor. Uh, with the gamepad, I can do a reasonable running speed because I can depress the trigger only slightly. Um, go on. Man, I like having this, this tra tra uh, tractor as a lifting tractor. I think it looks the part fantastically with this big weight on the back as well. All right, let's get out there. How are we doing for wool? Have we got a full pallet yet? We have. We got two full pallets of wool. Oh, that's amazing. Right, that's going to be a, a nice bit of income as well. So, what we could do, rather than upgrading, looking at upgrading more tools for the time being, what we could do is to... I've just realised I've got my pallet forks on again rather than my bale spike. Never mind, it doesn't matter. We can um, we can work with it. Let's zoom out a bit. There we go. There we go. Lovely. We'll get this one on. And then what I can do actually is widen that up. And then I can try and get two end on like I've previously been doing. Um, but yeah, we could. What we could do instead is save up. Um, <coughs> save up our money and buy the spinnery and that way when um, <coughs> when we make more wool we can make it into fabric and we can sell it for a lot more money and then we can use that money to buy the tailor shop where we can then sell clothes we can drop the fabric into the tailor shop and make and sell clothes for a lot more money that's, that's my kind of upgrade path of this. What I think might be better, actually, is to get more sheep. Use the money to get more sheep. And then we get more wool. And, and therefore, more money. There we go. Right. <coughs> yeah, that's, that's not bad doing it that way. Um, anyway, I'm going to uh, hyperlapse the rest of this again. And I'll see you guys after that. I'm sorry guys there are some days when you're not feeling 100 percent and you fight with things and then you're like i just can't be bothered anymore i'm taking the shortcut unfortunately today is one of those days so i did switch to using my super strength i should turn that off now actually um <clears throat> to load up um to load the wrapper and to then then i use the auto load trailer uh, on the bells in this field but you know what I don't even feel bad about it I just needed to do that today for my own mental health sometimes you've just got to take the shortcut and uh, and that's what I had to do today so yes we have done that 
So that's going to do it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Next time, we will uh, fertilise this grass. Uh, and then consider about what to do with this money. Uh, we could definitely use some of it. Um, but yeah, if you, leave, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!